What do you do when you want to see the ocean and hear the crash of its waves when you are in Kaohsiung? Just hop on the MRT. Today I'm going to show you around Qijing. I'm Michelle. I grew up in the Silicon Valley and was a journalist in Taiwan for 10 years. I like to run, grow hydroponic food, and travel. I'm going to show you around the Taiwan that I know. I hope you'll enjoy it as much as I do. We're at Central Park right now, and in order to get to Qijing, we need to take the orange line to Xiziwan. There's a special ticket set that you can get which includes the fare of the MRT and the ferry and a discount on bike rentals but I'm going to stick to my iPass because it works on the MRT and at convenience stores. If you get the package, this is the bike rental place that will give you a discount but there are lots of options to get around including public bikes and electric scooters. From here we take the ferry which is just down the street. One thing I especially enjoy about this boat ride, it's only 10 minutes long. There's not enough time to get seasick. Qi in Qijing means flag, and Jin has to do with water. From the air, this little area of land looks like a flag, which were triangular in the old days. From here, you can see the city and the harbor. I think it's quite lovely. This fort was built in the Qing Dynasty to guard Kaohsiung. Over the years, the military also dug a network of tunnels. It's so dark in here. Really mysterious. If you're super adventurous today, <laughs> this is great. This is an old bunker. Soldiers used to look out through here, see if enemy is approaching. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Qijin is where it all began for Kaohsiung. This is where explorers from China first came and settled. In fact, this was the point of entry for a lot of people, including missionaries, who brought not only Western religion, but modern medicine as well. The first church and hospital in Taiwan were here in Qijing. Mmm, refreshing. This is how people in Kaohsiung and in Tainan eat tomatoes. Raw, with a sweet, thick soy sauce paste, grated ginger, and sugar. Let's call this salad. So, a lot of people come to Tijin and they have seafood, but you don't need to that. I want to show you a fish noodle place that I recently discovered. The noodles are made of fish meat, 98% fish meat, and the rest is just a little bit of flour to keep the fish meat noodles from sticking together. It's really different, really interesting. I think quite good. Quite thick and al dente, and healthy too, because the protein and fiber content is higher mm. than that of regular noodles. Right after they're made, they're put in the freezer. There isn't that overpowering fishy smell that reminds me of stinky socks. This is quite good. I like it. This is Pier 2 Art Center, also within walking distance from Shizu One Station. I like Gongshan because it's a big city, yet it's laid back. There are big department stores, and yet there's lots of open space with history, culture, and nature. It's quite nice. You should come. 